Hello, let's do an energy reading for today. Um, I thought I might start this energy reading off with my one of my cubes. So I'm going to toss this cube. <laughs> but I better catch it and let it hit. And the one that comes up is joy. Okay, that's where it landed. So that's the word that I think this energy reading will be talking to. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm Linda Armstrong, in case you don't know who I am. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And um, my website is lovemylife.coach because it's all about loving your life, being your truth, finding that magic within you, and creating all that you want. And so, um, you know, we came up with the word joy for this reading, which, you know, it's during the coronavirus. I think this is what we're, we're wanting to connect with during this time so which is total opposite to the fear that the media would want to put into your space right so i just did a video on things you can do to clear the energy around your space around yourself um you can look at that for some easy tips on things you can do but i think we'll pick some cards and we'll see oh i don't have my reading glasses uh oh that's gonna be trouble um Let's pick a card from the energy. Uh, I like this deck. I love this deck. If you want to get it for yourself, it's uh, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay. Uh, this is my favorite go-to deck. And what's fun about it is that uh, it has meanings for the card, whether you choose the card in the upright position or in the reverse position. So I'm just going to split the deck, grab a card, Okay, we got upside down, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Oh, that's interesting, in the reverse. So let's see what that wants to tell us. Um, so fourth chakra is the heart chakra. This is number 38. Archangel Raphael, he's a, a healing a healing angel. Oh, well, they all are, but you know he's known for being a healer. So it says love, compassion, and self-acceptance, but now we're gonna read it to you from the reverse. So it says this card reverse indicates some blocks in the flow to your heart center energy, okay? Uh, perhaps it's an old sense of abandonment or grief of a broken heart lingering from long lost event. So whether this is recent or not, this blocked, this blocked energy stops you from caring for yourself and attracting love from others. And it can create an, un, an undercurrent of unhappiness that permeates your life. Oh yeah. And you know what? In, in being that we're kind of in this lockdown right now and you really are kind of forced to <laughs> go within right and things start coming up so even if you don't realize that this is what's happening it is so some people who are stuck at home and maybe they're feeling this um negativity around being so bored or not able to go and do what you want to do well guess what that brings up these old wounds to the surface that not wanting to be alone with yourself because because truly, sometimes we don't want to see what's going on in there, right? But now this is a period now where, like it or not, we're able to clear a lot of this stuff that's been within our system. Even if you don't know you're doing it, it's happening. And I'll give you two examples of that in a moment. Uh, let's just read the rest of this card. It says, it's time to heal the old stuck stuff and move on. Don't bypass the pain and pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah, there's no pretending when you're stuck with yourself. <laughs> when you're forced to be and connect. Because that's what's happening. This is a this is part of a, a, a master plan, a greater awakening on the planet. Um, a lot of little nuances and details that come into this whole thing. Because nothing is ever by chance. Um, instead, it says, uh, ventilate it in your journal and release it with the intentions to be clear, happy, and self-loving. So that's one thing you could do, really, just journal these emotions that are coming up for you that are 
not causing you not to feel so great. It says, meditate on the increasing light in your heart center and call on Raphael to help bring healing and clarity there. Love yourself and give yourself the approval that you used to need from others. Yeah, because now it's uh, your job is to go within, to be with yourself. I know some people who actually live alone, so they don't have even family members to distract them during this time of self-quarantine, and they're having a difficult time because they're kind of left with having only looking at themselves. And th that's why all these different emotions come up because it's like spirit saying, look at this so we can heal it. Look at this so we can heal it. And I love how this book is saying, just ask Archangel Raphael to heal it. And you will. So, uh, yeah, okay. And the, so it all says is the healing will take place and happiness will return. So, yeah, that's a great card. So I mentioned two things, two experiences that I said I would share. And uh, I noticed like the first week of this quarantine, I had this energy of having to get things done. Like this energy of being, this rushed energy. Like, and I didn't have a lot to do. <laughs> I didn't have a lot to do. I didn't have any time restraints where anything that I was working on needed to be done. But yet I felt this driving force that was putting me in the most moodiest moods. You know, and my husband and my son, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just so irritated. You know, not for any outside reason. It was all stuff that was happening within me. And I know it was for me to clear once and for all this energy of needing to get things done, of pushing hard to accomplish things, to uh, meet targets or whatever, even though I don't really work that way too much. I'm pretty much more go with the flow, but I still had this energy of, because I've had it before I woke up and realized that I can call the shots. I've always had that energy of, I can do a lot, so I'm gonna do a lot. I'm gonna just keep getting things done. Um, it really felt horrible and it was almost ridiculous because I had no deadlines. There was nothing I was doing that had to be done right now today. I could easily have done tomorrow. And in fact, when I realized this, I'm looking at, well, what is it I need to get? Why do I, you know, what am I doing? Like, why, why do I feel like I can't get anything done or I have to get this something done when there was nothing to get done? It's just the energy that wanted to come up for me to release it. Once I was aware of, I stopped being the effect of it and went and actually looked at it and said, what the heck's going on here? I could see for myself that that energy, I felt it many times before uh, in my past, especially when I worked for an advertising agency. Oh my God, everybody in, in, in this New York area, everybody wants everything two weeks ago. Uh, and I really noticed the difference because when I moved to California, I had two months to do a project I couldn't do it until two days before it was due. <laughs> I'm telling you, because I'm so used to working under pressure, uh, having to, that pressure of the clock to get things done. So that was great. Uh, I didn't enjoy it when I once I figured it out and I was able to confront it, look at it for what it was and release it really just by looking at it and acknowledging, oh my God, I've lived, I've lived this energy a lot in my life. I don't, I don't choose to do that anymore. So it's like you ask the universe, okay, how do I get rid of this energy that's been controlling me? You just ask, let it happen. Ask Archangel Raphael, um, thank you for healing me from this energy that's been driving my life in a way that really doesn't support my highest good. It keeps me away from my highest good because when you're working towards your highest good and for your highest good, that comes from what? This energy of joy. When you work through these higher energies, then you know this is part of your purpose. This is part of what you're here for, to get, to, to do, to share with other people. Do it from this energy of joy. And I, I love that this cue came out because then I noticed another negative energy. Now, right now, I'm not going to be able to think of it. That came up. Oh, yeah. This came up for me the other day. And it had to do with recognition. So I've been doing all these videos from my karate school, my husband's karate school, and my husband was telling me how these people are telling him what a great job he's doing and how his videos look professional and everything, all his graphics he puts out. I'm the one doing it, right? <laughs> he was getting the credit for it. And now these days, I don't wouldn't think that would bother me, but all of a sudden this energy came up and I started getting like really upset. And I'm like, 
you know what? I, I'm the one who did all that stuff and, and put the professional look on it. You couldn't have done that without me. And I said, it's, I, I feel like I need the recognition. So it, not that I, I consciously did not need the recognition, but the emotion was I needed the recognition. I'm the one who did it. And immediately it made me think of something that happened some years ago. And again, it was through the karate school where there was some Christmas party and I was teaching all the kids classes and they give my husband this gift with all the kids names on it. And even the adult students were um, talking to my husband about, and you know, thanking him for all he does for them, for all the classes he, and I wasn't even mentioned. So <laughs> I was so in my ego back then. I had such a problem with that, that there were all kinds of arguments that I had with even some women, older students in, in that, that could have added my name to the card or something like that. Anyway, it's so stupid, but it, it really affected me. So I brought that energy up. Now I could look at it today like, wow, you were really in your ego back then, you know, but the energy was still there. So it came up through this other thing. And so thank you, Spirit, for bringing something up to the surface so I could look at it. Number one, acknowledge how I'm really not there anymore because I, I don't care if people, if I don't get the credit for the way my husband's things are coming out because the, the better I can do for him, the, the more I want to do for him. I don't need the credit. I really don't. But that emotion came up. I'm like, oh my God. So I was able to let that pass quick because especially since it was so like, um, it felt disjointed to me. It's so not like not my reality anymore, but it was sitting there. So it was a good lesson to see how, even though you think that you might be over some things, when that energy comes up, you got to look at it. So I did, I looked at it, I'm like, wow, this energy is still here. Okay, so let's do a clearing for that. So, you know, I did clearings for myself to clear that, but you can do it just by asking and I like this card. Thank you for this card. Ask Archangel Raphael to, to minister the healing for you, to release that way of being so that it no longer has to affect you moving forward in your life. All right. So you know what? Maybe that's all I'm going to talk about on this card. Maybe that's all that needs to be said for today is to really find your joy, right? Find your joy And notice when things pull you out of it. Take a look at it. Like, what is that? Oh, what does that remind me of? Oh, yeah. Wow. I remember when I was in college or when I was in high school or when I was in third grade. You know, look at the thing that comes up. Say, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. I felt like that. And give yourself, send yourself love. Send yourself love back to that eight-year-old kid in school who had this experience. And just love them and let them know, listen, I'm here for you. I might be, you know. 50 years in the future, looking at you as, as an eight-year-old and sending you love and healing and saying, I understand and don't worry, everything gets better. You know, there are so many things that you can do, which maybe sound really far out there, but you know, there's no time and space. Why not jump around? Why not jump through timelines and heal yourself? Send yourself love. Why don't you do that? That'll be homework for this video. Write down journal times in your life where you just felt devastated or where you had this big emotional outburst or fight or upset or you didn't you know you were passed over for something you thought was yours um an achievement of some write them all down look at each one and just send love back to that you at that time experiencing that so that they can get past it easier okay it doesn't matter you're just jumping through time Maybe I'll put up some videos, um, some meditations like that, that we, that you can do that. I think I might even have some already recorded. I'll have to take a look. So anyway, that's your homework. Jot down all the times when whatever emotion is coming up for you while you're like stuck at home or whenever you're looking at this at any time, it doesn't matter that whether you're self quarantined during coronavirus or not, um, notice what comes up for you. Maybe journal down all the different aspects that it brings to the surface for you. And then just send love back to each of those incidences, each of those times when you felt that way and allow yourself to feel better and to be in the energy of love. So 
I wish lots and lots of love and joy for you. And I will see you on another video. My dogs are about to go crazy. So it's a perfect time. I guess that spirit let me know. Yes. End it here. Don't pick any more cards. This is it for today. So I'll see you on another video. Bye.